Hello, my name is Marilyn, and I'm making this video to try and inspire other people. And maybe it'll inspire me. <laughs> um, I'm sharing this because I feel like I need to help others. Because so many people have helped me throughout my life, and I have so many good friends that I'm blessed with that have helped me and helped me and helped me. And so I want to help others. And I have a disability and um, it is cerebral palsy. I walk with two canes and I hold down a full-time job and I keep my home and I'm over 50 years old. In fact, I'm 57 years old. And I've been talking with my friends and keep telling them, well, there's got to be more to this life than getting up at 2.30 in the morning and being at work by 4.30 or 3.30. I'm at work by 3.30, but I don't start till 4.30 or thereabouts. And then I come home and I'm exhausted and I don't want to do anything. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to pick up my house, I don't want to cook, I don't want to clean. And so Monday I made um, a promise to myself that I was going to start changing things. And I'm in a room, I'm in my guest room. And in my guest room, you know, um, there's junk. And there's my closet. And... There's, uh, if you can see it, there's my scooter, and there's my bed. I mean, in this room, it's just junk, you know. And I've, since I moved in here four years ago, I wanted to make this room into my war room. If you've seen the movie, um, the war room is your prayer room, your sanctuary. So I thought, well, I can make this my sanctuary. So I want to sell my bed and I want to either get a futon or a sofa couch so that when I do have company, they can sleep on something. But when I don't, it can be my own little private sanctuary where I pray, where I exercise and where I do all this. Now, I'm not a good exerciser. I live right across the street from the park and I've been here four years and I thought well wow I'm gonna live across the street from the park and I'm gonna walk the park yeah that didn't happen maybe four or five times it did but that's it well this year I've just made up my mind that I'm gonna do this and my pastor keeps talking about um being held accountable so I figure if I make this video that I'm being held accountable for what I'm saying I want to eat healthier. I want to exercise. And I don't exercise like you all do. Um, I can't even hardly bend my legs. Um, but I figure if I exercise, I'm moving. I have two pound weights that I can put on my ankles. I have a purple dumbbell. Of course, I have purple. Because um, purple is my favorite color. And then I have these... Uh, it, one or two DVDs, I'm not sure because I bought them a while back, where you can sit and exercise. And I have not put those to use. And I think that's kind of like ridiculous. <laughs> you know, you spend this money to exercise and you don't do anything. Because when you get up, at, my day starts at 2.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday. And you get up, you go, you get ready for work. You pack your lunch, whatever it is, and then you go to work and you're there and you eat your little bit of breakfast that you eat, whether it's junk or whether it's good, you know, you eat it. And then you work and then you come home and you're so tired you fall asleep on the recliner. That's basically what I do. Well, I've just decided that I am going to exercise. I'm going to try to eat right because I am about 65 pounds overweight and I'm tired of that because that's one of the reasons I can't move. I can't, I can't hardly exercise because I'm so fat, 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 fat. And you know, I'm tired of being fat. 
You can call it pleasingly plump. You can call it fluffy, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to call it fat. Now, at church, we're being, we, we have people that we, we hold ourselves accountable to so that we'll read our Bible every day. And it's working. And then we, and then I thought, well, and then my pastor said, you need to stop and you need to listen to what God's telling you. And I talk to God all the time. I, I really do. I write songs to him. I sing. I talk to him all the time. But I never take the time to stop and listen. Well, today I had the energy to stop and listen to God. Because I've been saying, Lord, there's got to be more to life than this. Go, coming home and sitting on the recliner and doing nothing because you're so tired. And I've wanted to help people, you know, for a long, long, long time. And I kept praying, God, I want to win the Publishers Clearinghouse so I can have money to help people, buy them clothes, buy them food, whatever they need. And then God spoke to me and said, you can do it from your home. That's what social media is about. And I'm like, I don't want to do it from home. You know, I want to be able to go to the gym and work and get in the pool and swim because water and me are fantastic friends. I mean, I'm, I'm free in the water, but I don't drive and it costs, it costs money every month. I can't get there because I work till one o'clock and the transit system here now closes at two o'clock. You, they pick, they start picking up their passengers at two o'clock from wherever they're at and take them home. So that's out of the question. So this morning when I was praying and I was talking to God while I was on my job, he said, you can do social media. You can start exercising. You can talk to people and motivate people. And I'm going, I can't motivate people. I'm not even motivated. Well, think it's time to change things and I'm the only one that can do it and if people don't want to watch the video then that's up to them but you know I can only do what God has asked me to do and I have to change myself first I have to push pray until something happens and do something do something. It doesn't matter if I raise my leg five times on each leg. At least I'm exercising a little bit and each day will get better. And from now on, I'm going to share what I've done. I'm going to share um, what I'm eating, whether it's good or bad. I'm going to share my exercises. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to do that because I don't know how to hold the phone and exercise and record at the same time. I'm going to have to, you know, figure it out. But, you know, I've held down a job for 20 years that people thought I'd never, you know, I'd never stay there. Well, I've been there 20 years. And I've gone through many, many things and I'm still standing and I'm still pushing my way through. I'm tired of, of being lazy and not doing what God wants me to do. So this is what my pledge is to myself. And I'm saying it to you because I want to be held accountable. Now, I may not do this every day. I may not record every day. But I am going to try my best to record every day. And tell you, yes, I've had a good day. Yes, I've had a bad day. I'm going to exercise. Now, today I'm just going to talk, and then um, starting the weekend, I'll, I'll try my exercising. I'll put in my video, and I'll put on my weight, and I'll do that. But I'm making that promise to myself, and I'm making the promise to you. And I'm hoping that through watching this video, that you'll be motivated to do it too. Because I do have cerebral palsy and I walk with two canes. And I get around slowly because I'm 65 pounds overweight. I'm being honest. I'm just 65 pounds overweight. And I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose it. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I'm going to lose it. But my first step is to just say, okay, we're doing this. And get out of my way and do whatever. 
I have pushed through a lot of things, but to make myself better, I never have pushed. People are saying, well, Marilyn, you can do this. And I know I don't want to, I tell them. Well, now it's time to get off my lazy duff and pick up the pieces and just do what God tells me to do. To give you an example, I sang a special this weekend and the Lord had told me to sing the song I wrote and I didn't want to. I'd never put the song to music. I never did it. Never. God says, so you're not going to write the song. You're not going to write in your book. You're not going to write your book. You're not, you haven't wrote in your journal or nothing. What's the matter with you? So Sunday I, I sung the song. That's the first step in, in doing what you're supposed to do. Obey God. And all these things will follow. Well, I obeyed him. And now I'm open up to other things. I may not have all the money in the world that I would love to have so that I don't have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. I mean, I have a job and I'm very blessed with my job. I'm very thankful for my job. Because a lot of people in my condition don't have a job. But I do and I've had it for 20 years. And I'm so thankful. I'm a very blessed person. A person that doesn't need to be lazy anymore and ne just needs to get up off her duff and start moving. It doesn't matter if you do two sit-ups or if you do five because pretty soon it'll go from two to five to ten to twenty. I mean, I've went to the doctor to have them um, prescribe uh, physical therapy. All they did was bend my leg back and forth. What good is that going to do? The best thing for me was the bicycle thing where you just push. I mean, I can't, I can't do it where it goes like this, but the one where you can push, it gave me strength in my legs. But I'm sorry, but most doctors just want to give you a pill and say, oh, it's okay, you'll get better with a pill. I'm not going to take a pill. I'm going to lose this weight. I'm going to start exercising, and I'm going to tell you that right now. This is what I am going to do. From this day forward, I'm going to promise you and myself that I'm going to start exercising tomorrow. I'm going to get all my DVDs together, my weights, and all that together. My mat. I even have a mat. And then I'm going to change this guest room that's such a mess right now. I don't know if you can see it because I can't really record that well. But I'm in this room. I'm sitting on the bed. A bed that nobody hardly ever sleeps in. My mom and my sister come once a year. And my daughter comes maybe three or four times a year. Other than that, it doesn't get used. So I'm going to start doing what I need to do to make myself better. And I hope it motivates other people to do the same thing. You guys have a blessed day. Because you know what? If you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. I said, if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Come on, people. Let's push from this day forward. Let's do something for ourselves to make us feel better. God bless and have a great day.